We are pretty much out in the bog. Um, but anyway, I stumbled across this truck. And it's pretty interesting. It's like a little shorty deal. So, you know, it's painted in military colors. And it looks like something that would have been in an airfield to pull planes around maybe. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it tops out at like 50 miles an hour. But, um, pretty neat. I've never actually seen one of these in person. But anyway, it's unlocked and get that out of the way. And the key's in it. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and make this rig run. We'll see what happens. It's been sitting here, looks like, a really really long time so the door could use a little help there that's for sure there we go so take a look under the hood we can figure out how to open it Come on, HUD. Looks like a 300 inline six, powered by Ford, single barrel carburetor. Got the weeds growing all up inside of it. Um, I saw something on desulfating a battery, so I'm not. I'm gonna try and light this thing off without spending a dime. So, I might pull the carburetor out and spray it out, and I'll probably rig up a gas can, but, uh, anyway, I'm going to try and desulfate this battery, so I need to get it out of here, and I'll pour all the acid out, and then we'll use some Epsom salt and put it on a charger to see if it'll live again. So, should be interesting to see, but with that, um, we'll do that trick, and then we'll get to this truck, so... For now, let's get that battery out and see if we can bring that battery back to life. I'm sure it's been sitting here for at least 5-10 years. Okay, here we have that battery that I pulled out of that old truck. And I popped the caps off and as you can see, the uh, um, acid is still up to level. But, I mean, the battery sat for a really long time. I tried to charge it and it wouldn't charge, so we're going to try to do the Epsom salt um, deal on it and see if that will work. Desulfate the battery I guess it's called. So anyway, I'll go ahead and pour this out. You want to be careful not to get this on your hands or your clothes. There's battery acid. probably can't see it like I can but looking in here there's a fair amount of corrosion built up so it's kind of what happens when a battery sits so we'll go ahead and add our salt solution and see if it'll clean it up but anyway that's where we are as of now all right so here we have our Epsom salt solution and um, I have two more containers it should take about um, four of these but I have about um, 30 to 40 percent of this Epsom salt dissolved in here so quite a darn bit as you can see it's real cloudy so the idea with this stuff is you put it in you put the battery on really low trickle charge for like three to four or five days and if it'll if it charges back up then you know it worked you know and again you only do this with batteries that um, you know won't charge so it's kind of like a really interesting thing because this you know, you could grab a battery that's been sitting around for 20 years, like this truck's been sitting out there. I talked to someone the other day for, you know, about 10 years. They've just kind of moved it around with the forklift, so um, I guess pulled it around. They didn't lift it up, but 
anyway, so it'll be a good test to see if this works on this battery here. So, you know, there's no real exact science to it. Just fill one cell, move to the next. So, we'll probably add some more of this at some point. I'm just going to fill them all the way up to the top. I feel like that can't hurt anything. So like I said, you're not supposed to leave this stuff in after you do this. That's not the point of it. Um, that's kind of what a lot of people do. I saw online. So after I did my own research, I found that's not quite correct. But uh, anyway, we'll just try and get it charged up. We'll try and light the, the uh, truck off with this solution see what happens so I'm gonna get doing this we'll slap it on a trickle charge at 2 amp and we'll just have to see alright so we've had our battery on our charger for a couple of days now it took about a day for it to actually start accepting a charge but now it's doing good and again you want to run it on trickle charge so we've been sitting at 2 amp um, these chargers that are old like this is some charger from the 70s or something that has a six volt option um, these are really the best ones to use because they uh, um, they overcharge the battery they're not smart chargers so they'll just keep putting charge to the battery until you disconnect it and you really want to overcharge these batteries to get the whole um, desulfating action going on um, you know at least that's my understanding of it but anyway it's doing pretty good Obviously, I have the battery outside here so that, uh, you know, if anything were to happen, it would blow up. Nothing would go wrong. And uh, I left the caps a little popped because it's going to get hot and the water is going to expand. And I can see that some did indeed run out. Um, so anyway, I'm going to hook up our meter here and we're going to see just what it's sitting at. But I've already checked it, so I know we're pretty good. In the beginning, it had like... Uh, um, when I hooked it to the charger, it literally had, like, um, there's no voltage, like, whatsoever. I couldn't even get a reading, so this is pretty impressive. So, anyway, I'm going to get this all hooked up, and we'll take a look. All right, so here we have our battery, and it's charging pretty good. We're up to, you know, you can see our voltage there. We're well over 12 volts, so um, I think today I'm going to try and put in that old truck out there and then see if the truck itself will crank over but um, as far as this goes I think we brought the battery back well enough to try and use it so anyway that's pretty impressive so I guess if you ever if it's the end of the world and you know you're left on your own for years and years I guess you can use old batteries this way so it's pretty impressive um, anyway we're gonna get everything unhooked unplugged get these pushed back down well take it out to the truck and see if we can light her off. So anyway, there you have it.